Alrighty, so what do we have here? Um, you might have seen this posted on my Twitter. I posted this yesterday um, as of this filming. But this is a very, very cool SSD. Uh, this was very kindly sent to me by Rhino Technology Group. You have probably heard of them from the Sun Oracle F40 and F80 flash accelerators. They've also done quite a few group buys with um, SAS and SATA hard drives. They have really great prices and they also have very good support. So if you ever run into any issues with the stuff that you get from them, um, they are a great company to work with. And um, they are a friend of serverbuilds.net. They do some promotions with us, um, but they sent this to me um, as sort of a thank you for doing a lot of stuff uh, with them. And I do wanna go over it and show you how cool it is because it is very cool. Um, but yeah, so this is how it came shipped to me. Came in a box with some packing and this was all sealed up when I opened it up. What you'll find is a Intel DC P4600 series SSD. And this isn't just any SSD. This is a 6.4 terabyte SSD. You can see that right there. And you'll also notice that it's NVMe PCI Express. But you say, well, it's a 2.5 inch. You're right, it is. And you might have seen back when NVMe was new, um, the Intel, uh, I don't remember exactly what series they were. Um, it was a couple before this one, but they um, they had two versions. They had a stick type, and they also had a 2.5 inch type, but they were both NVMe. This one has a U.2 connector. Now you might say that looks quite a lot like um, SATA and SAS, and you're right, it does, but it is U.2. Um, so electrically, it does have three, uh, sorry, four lanes of PCI Express 3.0, and it is very, very fast. Um, but this is a just, this is a Sun Oracle bracket. Uh, this is branded as a Sun Oracle part, even though it's an Intel drive. Um, so I'm sure it carries, yeah, here's the Oracle part number 7340035. Um, these are very expensive when they're new. I believe they are, I think, right in the mid $2,000. Um, Rhino Technology Group was running a group buy of this particular drive uh, for around 600 per drive. And I thought that was a very, very good deal. Considering, again, it's 6.4 terabytes. So even SATA SSDs, let's, let's think about the pricing of SATA SSDs. Uh, a two terabyte SATA SSD on sale, you're looking at like, at least in today's prices when this video is filmed, you're looking at, uh, a, let's say a good generous sale, $180 for a two terabyte. So uh, three times that, and you're looking at 340, or um, $540. Um, so that would only put you at six terabytes. And then this is a 6.4, and on top of that, it's not SATA, it's NVMe. Uh, so it is an enterprise drive. It does have very, very high endurance. So that's nice as well. Um, basically, you can't go wrong with something like this. If you're doing a lot of video editing, let's say 4K editing or even 8K, um, this can surely keep up with those sorts of workloads. If you're doing a lot of data sets and um, uh, just, very small files, it can do that too. Obviously it's going to be a very large drive, but if you're gonna use it for games and stuff like that, I mean, 6.4 terabytes is a lot of games you can put on there. Um, but we can also boot off of it. So that's uh, very interesting. I'm going to try to use this as an unraid cache drive when I make the next upgrade to my server. So we'll see how that goes and I'll let you know how that goes. Um, I actually think one of the coolest things is the bracket that it comes with. This is the Sun Oracle bracket, and here it says NVMe. I'm sorry, my camera's not focusing. Let me adjust that real quick. Okay. 
Here it says, uh, let's see if I can get that to focus. NVMe 6.4 terabytes and it's all metal. Um, well, I guess this part's plastic, the front's metal and it has these spring loaded sections there. So I, I suppose when you slide it in, it kind of creates a little bit of friction there. It keeps it locked in. Uh, and then it has a air vent through the front and some LED light pass-throughs, which uh, go all the way through back, through the back of the drive. So the back plane back here would light these up, send the light through a fiber optic channel, basically, and up to here. And then here's your release for the drive. It's got a very nice spring-loaded mechanical sound to it. So it's a shame I can't use this bracket, but I know for a fact that with how expensive this drive is, the server that uses it is even more expensive. And uh, we're talking in the range of starting, you're probably looking at three to $5,000 for a base model, maybe 10 for a well-equipped one or a decently equipped one. Uh, but got four screws here and take this guy off. That sound you hear going off of my videos is my Discord and people bothering me on Discord, which you're welcome to do by the way. So please join the Discord. Um, is a very fun place to hang out and get all of your tech info, tech deals, and tech help there. So it is a two and a half inch drive, um, but what you notice is that it is very thick. So this is a, I believe it's a 15 millimeter. A normal SATA SSD is about half that at like seven millimeters. So uh, this definitely will not fit into a laptop. And like I said about this interface, it is very similar to SATA. You do have the same sort of pins here, but there are extra pins in this interface um, and is similar to the SAS, uh, let's see, SFF 8639. And there's two different adapters you can buy to run this drive. You can buy a M.2 NVMe, uh, I believe that's a 8649. Let me double check that real quick. I'm sorry, that is a 8643 to this adapter. So basically it's just like a little plug and then you run a wire from that into this drive and you have to run external power. Or the option I've chosen is a PCI Express NVMe SSD adapter. It supports all vendors, two and a half inch NVMe SSD. And I think this will be a little bit more convenient. And based on the location, um, I won't need to run any extra airflow over it because I'm gonna have it in a server chassis. And it is a little bit more expensive to get this card than the other adapter. The other one you're looking at about like $26. Use the crinkling. All right, done with that. Uh, this one's around $39 or $40, uh, but it's very simple. It's just a PCI Express interface, and the drive simply slots in. It provides all the power and everything like that, so it's, it takes up one PCI Express slot. That's it. And there's room for the heat sink on the back to get a little bit of airflow. And I will screw these in. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm very excited to start using this drive. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. But I believe once I start making upgrades to my Unraid server, um, it would come in handy at least temporarily as a cache drive so I can start rearranging my files how I need to. Uh, none of my drives are full yet and I've got um, eight and 10 terabyte drives. So each one has about uh, four to five terabytes of stuff on it. So I'd be able to unload an entire drive onto this guy and then have the mover resort it into well, basically resort it and respect the um, 
what is that called? Like the high water, uh, why am I blanking on this? I don't know, whatever it's called. Like it's called high water. So basically when, you know, uh, say you have three drives and they're all 10 terabytes. So this one gets up to 50% and then it starts moving to the next one. Well, mine's a little bit uneven on each drive. So I'm basically going to move the files off and then have it resort the files. Um, at least that's the idea. Maybe it won't work that way, but um, I'm very excited to use it because I've never had a solid state this big before, let alone one this fast. Um, I think the largest solid state I have is a two terabyte, and it's a uh, it's an Intel uh, whatever the cheap Intel is. That's you know it's not it's not the full NVMe speed. It's like two gigabytes per second. This one you're looking at probably thirty five hundred or three point five gigabytes per second read. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to use this. I know I keep saying that, but that's it for this card for now. Well, I'd say card now. Uh, that's it for this solid state now. And um, what I'll do is come back to this once I get it installed, show you some benchmarks like I showed you the uh, Fusion IO drive. And we can actually compare the two now because I have the Fusion IO drive. I do use it quite a bit. Um, maybe I'll throw this on my desktop and actually just try to use it there and see how it goes. So that's kind of it for this video. I know it's short and I don't really do a whole lot, but I do want to say thank thank you to RhinoTech for sending this over. And um, I'm very eager to play with it. And I'll be, I know I'll be looking at their store. If this turns out well, I will be looking uh, to see if I can pick up some of the smaller models, maybe the 1.6 or the 3.2, and I can have some more, um, more usable space. I mean, 6.4 is nice to have because it's gigantic, but it is kind of all of your data in one spot and you're limited to, I mean, I say limited to, but it's, you know, 3.5 gigabytes per second read. Uh, but if you, that's a lot, it's just a lot of data to have on one drive. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, if you got any questions about this guy, please ask and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, check out Rhinotech's store, and again, thank you to them for sending it over. And uh, check out the vendor section on the forum. There's probably a couple group buys there up right now, and I will see you guys in the next video.